everybody. So today was my retrieval. We got up bright and early and drove the two hours to the clinic. We got there and we had to register. I was going to take some video there, but uh, I didn't really feel comfortable. And we ended up chatting so much with the nurses that... Um, sorry, for some reason my nose is itchy all of a sudden. <laughs> um, I ended up chatting with the nurses so much that uh, it really wasn't... Um, you know, we weren't really able. I didn't really have the time to do it. It went by really quickly, to be honest. Um, I think we spent more time chatting with the nursing staff than we did for the actual procedure and stuff itself. So, like I said, we got there, we checked in, uh, they kind of explained a few things to us. She tried to put my IV in this hand. You can see it's going to be like a massive bruise. It didn't work. She didn't get it in the first time, and then she blew my vein. So then she did this hand, and you can see it's kind of messy too but anyway she was super nice and I mean you know sometimes unfortunately they don't get it the first try so no big deal um and sorry I'm just gonna focus my camera here a little bit better um I don't know if that's too bright or if there's too much glare fix it over time anyways okay we'll just go with it <laughs> um so anyways they did the IV they gave me a antibiotic in the drip then they um, just had fluids going through. Um, and then when I got into the room is when they gave me fentanyl and two other medications maybe or something. I can't really remember, to be honest. Um, but right before we went in for the retrieval, they said to me, oh, and by the way, your doctor's not doing the retrieval. I was like, okay. I guess he had some emergency for another patient um, who ended up having to have a day three transfer instead of a day five unexpectedly, um, and things kind of took a turn. So anyways, he had to go do that. I think a courtesy call from my doctor would have been suffice, but um, it didn't happen, so it is what it is. So this other doctor did the retrieval, and he was he was a nice gentleman. So, I mean, it was fine, and I really didn't have a choice. I was right in the midst of, um, you know, if I wouldn't have done it, then I would have ovulated on my own so I mean it would have been a waste of a lot of meds and money and time so anyways we did the retrieval um when we went into the room um the embryologist staff or whatever they came out and talked to me for a minute and then from the lab the two nurses were in there with me and we were just chatting up a storm and singing and talking <laughs> to the music and stuff and you know, just talking about life in general. I started to get a little bit nervous. Then they gave me the one medication and it kind of just chilled me right out. They took my blood pressure one more time and then they started the retrieval. I was quite anxious about the retrieval because my last one was so excruciatingly painful. Um, but anyways, so um, this doctor, he put in the um, speculum. Then he numbed both sides of the vaginal wall where the, basically the probe was going to go. Um, that kind of stung. Um, she kept saying, oh, it's just like, you know, when you go to the dentist. I'm <laughs> thinking, okay, this is maybe TMI for some of you, but okay. Going to the dentist and getting a shot in the gums is not equivalent to getting a shot in your vaginal wall. <laughs> Clearly this woman's never had something done down there like that, uh, which I found funny. But anyways, regardless, got through that. That was okay. Um, they basically inserted the probe, put the needle to the vaginal wall to retrieve the eggs. Um, the one side, he went in a couple times and then pulled out. And when he went into the other side, I guess he had to go through a ligament that was like, it was like my ovary was kind of above this ligament. So he had to poke through the ligament to then get into my ovary. And that hurt like a bugger. Um, but they said I did pretty well considering he had to do that. Um, so I think he drained, my husband thinks he drained about seven follicles. The last follicle he went in on top of like going through the ligament, the last follicle he went in. It was, like, super hard for him to penetrate into the follicle for some reason. Um, the nurse said that he tried to do it a couple times, and it was like he was, like, bouncing my ovary around, which is, like, less than ideal, obviously, feeling. Um, 
But anyways, so he finally got that one drained. And we, we ended up with three eggs. That is lower than what I've had in the past. Um, my first one I had, I think I had 10 retrieved. And then the second IVF I had 16 retrieved. So to have three only this time, it it, it stung a little. It was like, you know, that's pretty low. But um, we just have to be hopeful and pray that those three turn into good embryos and that we can have a transfer on Monday. Um, I believe we'll be doing a day three transfer. That's basically what they implied to me. Now, I obviously think it'll end up being my doctor's decision, but we'll just have to see what ends up happening. Um, but I, we're planning for it to be a Monday retrieval day three. So I guess we'll get an update on Sunday though, as to, um, you know, the status of the embryos, if there's two, you know, what's, what's fertilized and the quality of them at that point. Um, so I'm hoping that that all goes well. We're just leaving it to God at this point and um, letting him, you know, guide us through this. I'm trying not to fix a fixate on things I can't control. Um, you know, I couldn't control having to go through IVF. I couldn't control, you know, how the stems were reacting in my body. I can't control any of that. I can't control how many eggs are retrieved. I can't control whether or not my husband's sperm and my egg create embryos. I, I can't do anything about that other than leave it to God. So that's what I've chosen to do. And, um, it was a long drive home. It was uncomfortable. Um, I stayed at the clinic for a little bit after the retrieval and had a snack. And then as long as I was able to go to the bathroom, um, then they were letting me go. So I came home, slept a little bit on and off on the way home. Um, and then they gave me some Tylenol 3 before I left there. And then I took some again this afternoon. And I can take some again probably any time, which I don't really feel like I need it, so I don't think I will, because um, I don't really want to be taking that medication if it's not necessary. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, like I said, we're leaving it up to God, and I'm very, very hopeful um, that he'll put us on, you know, obviously he's going to put us on the path that he had already kind of had figured out for us. So <sighs> would really appreciate some prayers. Um, by the time you see this video, I probably will have already found out but um you know any sort of prayer towards me and my husband would be very appreciative today's actually my husband's 36th birthday so it was quite the birthday present to be going and doing this but um, he's been wonderful today and I really do have an amazing husband and um I think we make a pretty darn good couple and we stick by each other through thick and thin so even though it's his birthday he's been pampering me I did buy him a brand new baseball bat which he was pretty pumped about um, for his birthday so anyways that's it for now um, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to know let me know and please subscribe to kind of follow through our journey and find out what happens with us bye for now